Hello, Excel users. Welcome to the Smart Excel videos on VBB and if conditions in Power Query and other formats. So this is my second video, and please refer to the previous video before going to this video. So in if condition, you have the Power Query code and the VBA codes are similar, but that is not the same when you are having an if condition. So there are two or more criteria and how to use that and how it is different from the previous is my video about and now this first condition is the first condition was the unit price is less than or equal to 100 then c into d c means column c multiplied by d and now this is going to be like greater than 150 then we will get a 10 percent discount and the third condition is if there is no value between 101 and 149 so it will be no value but uh, the excel formula will return an error so you can see that the formula in the previous formula for if was the same in for loop and do while loop now i'm going to change this formula a little more so now i'm going to make this into an if condition so it will be an if so the formula will be like if so it's going to be an if condition the value is less than or equal to 100 then this multiplied by this and another condition number two is again if this value is greater or equal to 150 then we are going to get a discount of 10 10 percent so so this value will be minus this into 0 0.1 I want to hit an enter but the value is same over here so now you can see the value which is between 150 uh, 101 and 149 is giving a value error we can change this by making an if error condition now this is the previous video so i just want to change the format so i'm going to add a second criteria if this is going to be greater than 150 then i want to have a 10 percent discount on this and between 101 to 149 i will do uh, there will be no values so this is the previous two videos so i'm going to copy this again and this time i'm going to make it for if so i will copy this for loop in the first so now i'm going to make this as a ifs so what i'll be changing is i'll doing some minor changes so the cell <coughs> dot values are the same so i'll be adding an else condition so the else condition will be like if cells are for and then I'm going to add one more condition so the, again i'm going to make an else so if cells so i'll be copying this so this is else i want to paste <coughs> greater than equal to 150 is greater than equal to 150 but here we should have a else if so now it's okay so the formula is else if it's not just else it should be else if so then the value for the value cell 7 will be so we'll deliver 10 percent discount on this moment so that will be cell r5 dot value so I'll be copying this and changing this into five. And again I'll copy this. So it will minus by itself into, into zero point one. Now if you get an error if you just leave this or what you have to do is 
cell 5 not value so I have to make a parenthesis here and add an else else r7 dot value will be none now I'm going to end the if and next r so the formula is done so I'll be changing the macro so it is if for loop so you can see the formula has changed now the old formula is same so you can see this is a difference so I will be changing here also so I will be changing completely so again we will go to the same and now for do while loop I will copy the same and I will test this control V and I will be doing this as if so here also we will be doing some, some slight changes so now the value till here is okay but I am adding one more criteria so the criteria also we can call we can copy the same so else if so we copy then copy this and I will be it is we going to be going to change with less than equal to 150 so now I have to change into else if so if it is else if then I have to write one more criteria so that I will be I can copy from here but I have to change the cell value so we but here it will do it for 8 because the for loop is in value 8 so we'll be making this into 8 so this other things will be the same then I will be adding an else So the same thing I just made a if for do while loop. So now uh, uh, this formula is the, the, the V code is completed. Now let's go and check this code. And I'm going to as a change this macro. So this will be for do while loop. This is a new macro I created. And I have to check this. So you can see the answer is perfect. But here if you have an if error, if you put an if error, it the error will be gone so it will be like if error and the value for the error will be double quotes and close the parenthesis and now when you click down you get the answer so this is for VBA for loop and this is for do while loop as at last I showed you if you copy extra values in the segment and when you do for a for loop the data doesn't change but when you do the same for a do while loop you can see there is extra changes because this will be looping till the end so this is all, all the video about for the ifs condition and uh, i hope you uh, like this video you can make an understanding of this video so the second video i'll be showing you the same thing on tables power query and power pivot in the same manner so that uh, if is a very important and very very sophisticated subject so i wanted to complete this and uh, if you have any comments please comment and if you have any questions to comment and ask me and please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon and i would like to see you in the next video soon thanks for watching